is December 13th, but let's talk about 25 Days of Christmas. Today we're talking about Jingle All the Way. Tomorrow we're watching uh, Rudolph the Movie, not the classic, the 2000 movie that came out in October. Where's your guys' thoughts on this movie while well, I pull up the IMDb that I forgot to pull up? Um, I haven't seen well, it forever. Jingle All the Way on Cartoon Network, but I'd always catch it at like an awkward point. Like, I'd never get to see the full movie, just bits and pieces of it. Um, oh, all, I remember, all I remember is Turbo Man and you can have some butter cookie. I need Turbo Man. <laughs> so, Turbo uh, Man is a rare toy now. I haven't seen it forever. So, 1986 is a 5.6 out of 10 on IMDb. That's very low and should be very higher. A father vows to get his son a Turbo Man action figure for Christmas. However, every store is sold out of them, and he must travel all over town and complete everybody else in. Wait, I'll oh, compete with everybody else. In order to uh, say one, um, so what's interesting the thing about this? I'm pretty sure this was written about like the um, Cabbage Patch Kids, and then the movie came out right when Tickle Me Elmo came out. So <laughs> that, that 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 plot that, that plot plot sounds like you with a car tape. Yep. The original Turbo Man action figure sells on eBay for six hundred dollars, complete in box. I see, I see them I see them new ones like every like every year. I want one. I want like six on. bucks. It's not too bad, I guess. If it's like you know, kind of like good quality, like the one from the movie. Yeah, like the box. And one of the ones without the box is two hundred and fifty. I like I Cheap. like I like in universe like merchandise that isn't like 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 um like. If it it's like like the Red Rider BB gun or something like that from my Christmas story, I'm, I don't know if that existed before. It probably did, but like, I like okay. Let's just, okay. Pizza Planet, basically from Toy Story. I like when it's just Pizza Planet. It doesn't have like Toy Stories, Disney, uh, <laughs> like the back or something. You know, a bunch of licensing info. Journal number three, the the Gravity Falls Journal number three, um, is a genius with how they did it. What they did is they put all like the licensing all the like Disney and Gravity Falls logo and everything, they put it all on the um, the sleeve, the book cover, the dust jacket, because they what it's called. You take oh, it off oh. and it's, you take it off and it's just drill number three. It's absolutely mm. genius. I love it because it just breaks the immersion. It's just oh it's amazing. Yeah, that's beautiful. It's wonderful that Did Disney you know? let them do that. Did you know? Tim Allen was considered for the role that I don't know shortest thing would have had. Ooh, I I really want to hear him. I want to I want to hear him go. <laughs> and like and then just like I want I want I want Tim Allen um saying put that cookie down. <laughs> um, I don't know what he's doing. Uh, uh, I wonder what that booster <laughs> costume is now. I don't know if this is true or not. But, um, Arnold Schwarzenegger, when they were doing a, um, Austrian dub of one of his movies, he wanted to, uh, <laughs> he wanted to do the dub, because, you know, obviously he speaks Austri like Austrian, and <laughs> he rejected it. You guys know why? Why? You know, because apparently his voice there is basically how we hear hillbillies. Well, dang it, I can't believe they cut old Arnold Schwarzenegger out of the movie because he, he deserved it. I mean, come on, people, get with the program, you, you know what I'm saying? Did you guys know, no. speaking of hillbillies, did you guys know that there's a jingle all the way to starring Larry the Cable Guy? Wait, really? Yo, <laughs> there's, a, there's, a tooth, there's a Tooth Fairy 2 starring Larry the Cable Guy. Well, ain't that What's with this man in terrible sequels? Is it, I can, I can, Dude, that's, there's like three, just off the top of my head. Two. That's three of them. <laughs> Welp. Like no mater, but without the toe. Mater, fitting to get funky. I used um. to call him Larry the Cable Car. That man is just... I don't know. Anyone who gets that doesn't get it. Consume pyro 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 sex. Whatever it is. I don't know the game goes sharply. You have 
not burn. <laughs> All right. So what shall we have? step out? Oh. Wait, what? Head out shall to the movie. We're gonna we're gonna watch a movie, yo. We're gonna go to a movie theater that we rented out. That's a lie. We don't have the budget for that. We don't. We don't have a dollar. We're just three friends sitting at a laptop. Good, bro. But it's one of those little uh, laptop DVD player thingies. That's a portable DVD player. Yeah, yeah, the one that the rich kids had, and I always wanted. But I they had one. I was and I was poor. It. I had a, I had a portable DVD player. Growing up, growing up, I had a few. One of the ones, one of the ones we had. Um, wow, you must be if rich. You fully, if you fully charged it, it wouldn't the battery run out before you even finish a movie. Oh, you have a portable DVD player? <laughs> yeah, we have two of them. Wow. DVD player <laughs> that, uh, wasn't there like a portable DVD player that could play the uh, Game Boy Advance? I yeah. first watched Bolt on a portable DVD player. We were going on uh, a, car, a car. We were going on a long car trip, and our, our parents picked it up. From, picked it up from um, Walmart because they didn't have anything to watch. I remember in um in a minivan that my stepmom had. Um, so there was you know how many vans are there's like three seats. There's the front seats, the middle seats, and the back seats. The middle and back seats both had portable DVD players built in. And I remember watching Finding Nemo on a portable because we were in. Uh, yeah. I think we were in Utah. Time. Can we, Have can you seen my son? That can we, was can we, terrifying. Can we can we install a portable DVD player in our car? I don't know. I don't, I don't know how to do that now. I don't, I don't, it's if anybody even does that now. Because you got the radio, you got the radios that have like little screens, you know, you can put duties in those. My mom has that. Yeah, we don't have we don't have money. Oh my god, a Tesla. I mean, I, okay. So that van had AC inputs, not AC, AC, DC, the, 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 the wall outlets, they had wall outlets in it. I remember my um, stepbrothers at the time, um, in the seat above us, they were playing Halo on it. They brought their Xbox 360 with them and they were playing Halo in the minivan while we were going to That sounds amazing. Yep. Oh man! And here I was with my DS and my R4 with all the downloaded games my dad got me. I um I have a okay so car charge I have a car charger that goes into an AC or I mean a wall outlet plug and you two know about this but they don't I have a little TV VCR I brought it out to my car and I plugged it into my car and it worked it was amazing but it killed my car battery so yeah so, so and it took forever to recharge to jumpstart it because it was it was so dead. I remember watching, like, uh, I was in another car, and I saw the car that we were behind, they had, they had Ant Farm playing on the TV. What, one, one time, um, we, we were stuck in traffic for, like, a long time. Like, literally stuck in traffic for, like, an hour on, like, a trip, and there were some kids right next to us watching Lion, watching Lion King. On a DVD player, I sat there, watched the whole, just watched like the whole thing. <laughs> See with someone else's window. You're like, you're like Peter watching Madagascar. <laughs> and, I, and and just said all the lines out loud. Like Peter watching. I, oh yeah, I remember watching um after the Chipmunks. I remember watching the uh, the cartoon. Um, I think it was they when they meet meet Wolfman. Yeah. 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 Um, that one used to scare me. I haven't watched that in forever. I'm Anyways, we're, gonna, we're gonna go watch. We're gonna go watch it. We're gonna go. We're gonna go watch it. Okay, guys. Yeah. Okay. Are you guys, yeah. are you guys yeah. excited to, to witness all Schwarzenegger with a child who uh, it's Luke Skywalker and the prequels? I think. I don't know. I want a Turbo I Man doll. I want Turbo Man. Got have the Turbo Man. Um. You good cooking? Okay, before we leave. My dad is like super obsessed with Star Wars. Like he has literally has a life size Yoda that like he won in like a Coke contest like years ago. I remember seeing it when I was like baby. Oh my god, guess star. <laughs> and yet I've I've never really sat down and watched a Star Wars movie before. So you wouldn't like it. Probably. Anyways, we're gonna go watch um before I get all the Star Wars fanboys attacking me. 
Oh, excuse me. Yes? I'm trying to find a German man, though. Me too, me too. Do you have any more in the back? <laughs> what? You see that? <laughs> These, these guys are looking for a turbo man? A German man, <laughs> yes. <laughs> They're looking for turbo man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everybody, please do Okay, look. This is the part of the podcast where the recording should be. But upon further inspection, when I'm editing this at 2.30 in the morning, very exhausted from editing, very just tired of, this, of recording this podcast, and editing it and trying to get out an early schedule, Turns out I lost the recording. I accidentally downloaded the, the, the Rudolph intro, which we recorded right after. Why don't you just record, download the uh, recording, you may ask me. Well, I can't because it's gone. Because every seven days, it's automatically deleted by our bot. I can't change that. It's the stupidest thing I've ever seen on a bot. So, basically... There's no recording, and this is getting out of hand for me. It's embarrassing. I really like this recording, me and Papa Gendy. We all love this recording, but I don't have it, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry if you go ahead and tell. I'm very. I'm getting pretty burnt out on this. Anyways, tomorrow, December fourteenth, Rudolph the movie. Um. Again, I'm sorry. Bye.